What is going on guys? I am Spunkly and in this video I am playing more Opera right now. This video or this excuse me this operation is a pacemaker surgery so this should be interesting um I don't even know how you put a pacemaker in but it'll probably be gross so let's just go ahead and operate. Meet William. William has a heart problem the con the conduction system which controls the heart's rhythmic, rhythmic beating through electrical impulses is failing. We may need to place a pacemaker in his chest to regulate his heartbeat. First, we need to check the current condition of his heart. We must take a blood sample. Alright, we need to perform the blood test on William. Let's get him to the blood testing room. It should be one of these three. The one with the blood on it. To start the procedure, pick up the uh, tourniquet from the table. Tourniquet, right there. Place it around his arm. There you go, bud. Now strap it till it's tight. You can tap the forearm to make the veins more visible. There, now great, the vein is clearly visible. Let's disinfect the area now. Pull out the sanitizer wipes. Now sterilize the area. There. Okay, now that the area is clean, you can pick up the butterfly needle. Oh shit, that's just the needle. Please concentrate. Butterfly needle. Okay, carefully insert the needle into William's arm. There you go. Oh, nice inside there and disgusting. Perfect. Take an empty veil from the table. Or vial. Veil. God, I'm stupid. Okay, now attach the empty vial to the other end of the butterfly needle. Look at all that blood. Why was the blood not just flowing out before? Excellent. We have our sample. You can now remove the empty vial from the butterfly needle. Remove the needle. And... Ugh. Please pick up a band-aid. Plaster. Pick up a band-aid. Please pick up a band-aid. Okay, why do they call it plaster? Very good, now use it to cover his wound. His wound? Make it sound like he's fucking missing an arm. He's got a just a, a, a spot with a needle, Jesus. Okay, remove the strap. Very good, we can now check his blood. A sample of William's blood has been placed under with a microscope. We can now examine his blood in detail. He seems to have a low number of red blood cells or that. This may be due to a failing heart. Okay, doctor, we need to perform an electrocardiogram to see William's cardiac rhythm. Let's get him to the electrocardium room. Should be one of these three. That one. Please select the electrodes from the table. The electrodes are usually composed of small metal plate surrounded by an adhesive pad, which is coated with a conducting gel to help transmit the electrical signal. This is like reading a book. Okay, so what do we need? Electrodes. There. All these electrodes. Okay, very good. Now select the electrode holder. Right there. That one. Okay. And then those two, and then these two. Perfect. You're slowly becoming Dr. Octopus. Please turn on the ECG machine. We can now see the rhythm of William's heart. The first thing we notice is that the patient has an irregular heartbeat known as arrhythmia. Together, this, together with previous evidence, shows us that we need to operate and insert a pacemaker. We must go to the room. Okay, doctor, we need to take William to the operating room. This one. Excuse me, I had to burp. That's gross. Good work, doctor. Now we'll need to inject an intravenous intra intravenous anesthetic <laughs> please select the syringe from the table okay i am i'm a really bad doctor at pronouncing things select or insert this i'm also bad at reading okay that's right we must wait four seconds for the anesthetic to take effect okay let's sterilize the chest now pick up the tongs and then the cotton dip it in here and then just color his chest just perfectly tan. Pick up the marker. Here. I wish I could just take a marker and just go straight down and creates just this, a dotted line. We are now we are ready to make an incision. Please select the scalpel. This is when it gets gross. Okay, right there. Oh god, I hate the sound of like oh. I'm sorry, it just decided to take me somewhere else. Okay, William is now bleeding. Pick up the sanitizer wipes. Obviously he's bleeding, you just cut him. Yeah, wipe up that blood. Do a good job, get it all there. Now pick up the retractors. One tractor here, one there. Okay, well they both go there. Please pick up the scalpel again. Oh God. 
Am I going to have to cut through his sternum next? Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, God. The muscle. The wheel leaves to connect the heart. God. We'll use the leads. Okay, that goes there. That was weird. Just straight in. Apparently those are attaching to his heart. You see the leads are inside the cal- whatever, the vein is connected directly to the heart. Okay. So those just went straight in. We're now ready to insert the pacemaker. Good, now connect the pacemaker to the leads. Good. Perfect. Just t just tuck it in there like you're tucking in something into your shirt or your jacket pocket. Just Please turn the pacemaker to start the impulses. Alright, you can now remove the retractors. Perfect. Both of them. Get out of here. Get the f*** out of here, you stupid retractor. We're done with you. It's time to saturate the wound. Please select the needle from the table. Also pick up the thread. Fuck. I'm sorry. Okay, we need the thread. Man, this game is so picky about what you what you use to fix this guy. Apparently you can't you can't thread someone's wound together with another needle. Who would have guessed that? Please select the patch from the table. Okay, that goes there. You've done a great job, Doctor. I'm sure William will recover in no time. Yeah, two mistakes. Damn. New mode unlocked. Fuck it. Look at William. He's just the happiest man in the world. Who wouldn't be happy after getting some foreign object stuffed into your skin like you're sticking a, an, an advertiser, a flyer into your, sh into your coat pocket? I'm going to go ahead and do another surgery. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to do, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and find another surgery because one is never enough. All right. Now we're going to do epilepsy surgery. So I, I don't even know how you cure epilepsy. I didn't know there was a cure for epilepsy. Let's find out. This game contains graphic depictions of surgery. Meet Marie. Marie or Mary? Marie? Marie. Marie has epilepsy, which is causing her to go into seizures under certain circumstances. She has tried different treatments to stop the seizures, but unfortunately none have been effective, nor have the symptoms diminished over time, as it is sometimes the case with chronic diseases. Surgery is her last treatment option, however, considering her background, we should first perform an EEG to see if Marie is fit for surgery. Let's get to the examining room for her brain. Fuck! Let's examine with... There. Okay. Please select the electrodes from the table. Now put them on her forehead. What happens? We just shock her and she just starts fucking freaking out? Alright, good work, doctor. Here are the EEG results. Test every electrode to identify one. Okay. Oh. Shit. Okay, it's that one. I didn't know I didn't have to click on them. Very good, Doctor. Now we head to the operation room. Now it's this one. We will begin with an intra intravenous anesthetic. Please select the syringe from the table. Now select the anesthetic bottle. Anest anesthetic. This one. Okay. There, fill that. Now take that out and put that right in your veins. Yeah. Good work, Doctor. We must wait a moment for the anesthetic to take effect. Done. Okay, it's like putting a pizza or pizza rolls in the microwave. Just gotta just gotta wait a few seconds and then they're done. First we need to cut Marie's hair to expose her scalp. Please pick up the scissors. Okay. Sorry, Marie, it's gotta be done. Those beautiful locks are gonna... are soon to be... are... Okay, gotta shake the can. Shake the can. Jeez, I'm shaking it! Okay. Now apply the shaving cream to her scalp. Oh, I'm... I'm... This is... This is not gonna be fun. This is not gonna be fun for you. It'll be worth it in the end. I, come on, just... 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 Jeez, how hard is it to, to put shaving cream on someone's head? Pick up the razor. Here we go. I'm not really a huge fan of the sound it makes when you when you shave their head. It sounds gross. I don't like that at all. Come on. Come on. Come on. All of it. All of it. I thought we were just gonna shave her ear off. 
Well, she's got a nice white ear. All right, now please use the cotton to remove the remaining shaving cream from her ear. Oh. There. Beautiful. Very good, doctor. Now we're ready to apply the antiseptic solution. Excuse me. Please pick up the tongs. Now, the cotton. And the iodine. And just color her head. Oh, yeah. Just look at that. Just the perfect straight lines. I should be an artist. Now, please pick up the marker. Okay. Here. Here you go. Look at that. Now we're ready to make an incision. The scalpel. Oh, God. I hate just, like, the cutting of the head. Oh, God. I would hate to have to cut someone's head open. All right. Select the drill. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I couldn't even imagine getting a drill, like, into your head. Good work, daughter. Da daughter. Good work, daughter. Now pick up the surgical saw. Saw, right there. Oh, God. Just cut that section out. Yeah. Just like replacing drywall. The brain is now exposed. The next step is to cut out the dura matter. It's like the scalpel. Alright. Well, bear with- Oh, God. Pick up the scissors. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm sorry. What are we doing to you? The brain is now visible. You must check each area of the brain, so pick up the electrode grid. Okay. Let's see. So the tweezers. Okay, touch different electrodes. Which one is it? Which electrode is it? That one? If located, okay, strongest feedback. Hold the piece of brain. Oh, we can detach the piece of brain. Pick up the scalpel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We must close the area. Pick up the tongs so we can replace the dura matter. Oh my god. I. Oh my god. That's so gross. Pick up the needle. I mean, in the thread. I mean, it's good that people, like, are able to do this, but there's no way in hell that I would ever be able to be a doctor. That would... Oh, my God. That would just be the worst. I would get so nauseous all the time. And I'm not even a nauseous person. Like, I can bleed, and it's not a big deal. All right. The drill. Yeah, because I can look at, like, blood. Like, I've had my fingers, like, cut open before. And the blood doesn't really bother me at all. Oh, but the, uh, alright, surgical plates. But the, uh, just the thought of cutting someone's brain is just gross. Alright, now pick up the screwdriver. There it is, that one. And the screws. Okay, just bear with me here. I'm just gonna screw your head together. Oh my god. Oh god, pick up the tongs. Perfect. Gross. Pick up the needle. And the thread. I'm gonna sew her pretty little head back together. This... I don't even... I don't even want stitches. Like, I almost had to get stitches once, and I almost passed out from the thought. Alright, the stapler. Okay. Put some staples in your head, just like, uh... Like an office note. It's just... That's... It's so weird. We're almost done. Pick up the bandage. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna wrap you up all nice. You won't even know what happened. You'll just wake up and you'll be able to go to all of the all the electronic concerts like the young kids are doing now. You've done a great job, Doctor. I'm sure the patient will recover in no time. Look at her. She's so happy. Now she can go look at all the strobe lights she wants. She can even play Guitar Hero now. She's gonna become an expert at Guitar Hero. Alright guys, well that's where I'm going to cut off this video, so if you enjoyed it, go ahead and click that like button, and comment and subscribe if you want to see more. But thank you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. It's going to fall this way. You click the star that way. This drops and hits that. Hits that. And opens the door. And that's how you let the cat in.